Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to talk about how to create a vendor in QuickBooks Online. In a previous video we discussed how to create a customer. This time we're going to talk about how to create a vendor. So for customers we went to sales, for vendors we'll go to expenses. Once again, under the expenses tab is all of your expenses. Credit cards, expenses, checks, etc. There no they're uh, automatically sorted by date, but you can sort it by type. As you see, by payee, by simply tapping on the category. Uh, I'm sorry, on the title. Okay, so now let's go to vendors. We're going to create a new vendor, and now we're going to create Jane Smith. It's going to be jamesmith at email.com. Jamesmith Design LLC. This area, once again, is very important. Whatever is displayed here, that's what's going to print on your checks when you send out a payment. This is the address you're going to. Uh, Print on the check as well as the the address the check should be delivered to. Oops. Okay, phone number and so on, website, billing rate if there's any. Let's say it's 150 an hour, it'll be automatically in there. And how long are we supposed to pay with this vendor? Are we do we have terms? Do we have net 10, 15 days? Can we pay in 30 days? Or do we have to pay? as soon as we receive the bill. If there's an open balance, let's start it. We'll enter it here as of the date it's open. Um, if you have an account number, whatever your account number is. And this part is very important. If we need to generate a 1099 at the end of the year, we need to get the business ID information. So you can enter it here whatever the information is okay and you would check this any notes and this part is very important as well you can attach your agreement with this vendor uh, you can attach any files here so let's just say um, for example that'll be attached automatically and we'll just hit save And now we can go to Jane Smith Design. And voila, here's Jane Smith. Now we can start creating transactions. As always, if you have any questions, if you need further assistance, our contact information is in the description below. Please do not hesitate to reach out. We're here to help you. Um, and please feel free to subscribe and hit a like. Thank you.